Hey developers, today we're going to look at a new Udemy course called JavaScript Algorithms and Data Structures Masterclass by Colt Steele. So uh, this was a recommendation by one of the comments left on one of my videos. Apparently this is a new course that Colt has created recently. So I just wanted to share this course with you guys, talk a little bit about it. And uh, let's see, let's let's look into this. So if you don't know Colt Steele, he is one of the premier Udemy instructors. He's created some amazing courses. In fact, this course I'm gonna to talk to you about and his other two courses on the Web Developer Bootcamp and the Advanced Web Developer Bootcamp are both linked in the description below. So if you guys are interested in learning more about web development and you want a really good, solid, long, super long course, I would highly recommend those videos, uh, those courses that is. And if you do buy anything from any of the links in those descriptions, I do get a few bucks, so it helps support the channel too. So that's awesome. So this course, like I said, was recommended by a user in one of the comments. They were asking about it. Now I have, as you can see here on the screen, I have only gone through 31 of 342 items. So this is certainly not a thorough review of this course. It's actually 20 hours long, but I just wanted to kind of give you guys a sneak peek, maybe a mini review of what to expect if you buy this course and uh, just kind of talk about some things that I, what I think about the course while we look through this. So let's, as with all of Colt Steele's courses, he always features his cat in it in some picture. And if you watch, <laughs> if you watch the videos, usually you'll see his cat somewhere. So keep an eye out for that. And also, by the way, I've had some people ask me before, um, and I've heard it talked about uh, this, this word here. This is, this is Udemy. Now I've heard it pronounced a few ways. Some people call it Udemy. Some people call it Udemy. And I think there's probably a few other pronunciations, but just to let you guys know, it's pronounced Udemy like you to me. So if you ever forget the pronunciation, just remember you to me, you to me, that's how you pronounce it. And I'm saying that not to sound pretentious, but uh, that's actually what I've heard um, the actual people who work for you to me say it. So I, I just want to pass that along if anybody's interested. Because I, I see, I hear people saying it all different ways. Uh, so going back to this course, you can see here, it's the Missing Computer Science Coding Interview Bootcamp is the way he describes it. It's already 21 hours of content. You can see Colt was definitely working on this for a very long time. He calls it all skill levels, but really uh, you need to have some sort of programming experience. So he's not going to teach you how to do JavaScript. He's not going to teach you how to do Java. So I would highly recommend at least knowing one language first. He even says that in the beginning. Uh, he, I, th I believe all the examples are in JavaScript. So I would recommend knowing some JavaScript before you jump in here, but you certainly don't need to be an expert in it. So the course crams months of computer science interview prep material into 20 hours of video. Uh, he, he talks about his in-person boot camps and how he got a lot of the material from that in this course here. And he analyzes your code, big O notation, and he talks about recursion, sorting algorithms, data structures, linked lists, trees, heaps, hash tables, and graphs. And we learned to traverse trees and graphs and cover Diextra's shortest path algorithm. So it's interactive, every single problem has a complete solution. Uh, I cover helpful tips and tricks to solve common problems, but we focus on building an approach in any problem. So basic knowledge of JavaScript syntax. So even though it does say all level skill level all levels, but really, yeah, you need basic knowledge of JavaScript to really understand the examples. So if you don't have that, then you may want to take his web development bootcamp course first. And yeah, you don't need any data structures. From what I saw when I looked through the courses, he highly he, this. By the way, this is a course too. Um, I've heard some negative feedback on some of Colt's other courses where he wasn't the instructor, he's given it to other people. In this course, um, all of every area I was looking at, he is the instructor through the whole course. So he doesn't have anybody else teaching the course for him, he's teaching it all, which I think a lot of people like because he's a good teacher. And you can learn everything you need to ace difficult coding interviews, master dozens of popular algorithms, six sorting algorithms, implement 10 data structures from scratch. And uh, definitely, this is definitely targeted for people who are looking to 
get jobs. Uh, if you don't know, when you're applying for a job nowadays, there's usually at some point you have a coding whiteboard problem. And they can be as easy as doing uh, just creating a, a list or it might be as difficult as trying to find the least, like the Dijkstra's shortest path algorithm. So, I mean, there's a whole gambit of interview questions that you can get on whiteboarding. Some companies will whiteboard, some won't. Some believe that whiteboarding, especially these algorithm type problems is unfair. Some companies think that um, you shouldn't have to learn that because these aren't problems you normally use in your everyday like web development type jobs. Other companies like Google, Facebook, uh, pretty much any major company is going to ask you whiteboarding questions and they'll probably be algorithm questions. Sometimes you get whiteboarding questions that aren't algorithm questions. Uh, that This course wouldn't be for you. They might ask you to like, I know, jot down on the board how like a server and a client server and HTTP TP requests or they might have you like sketch out some quick algor uh, quick uh, quick problem on on something you would see in your day to day work environment, but this isn't that course. So very interesting. Um, also, don't get confused with the word people say algorithms. It's just kind of like a list of steps, almost like a recipe. It's just kind of a fancy way of saying that. We like to, in computer science, we like to throw around the, these big words, but really, if you, algorithms is just kind of a way, a list of steps, uh, some procedures you need to, do, need to do to complete something like create a pizza or, or in some of these cases, find the shortest path between two points. So since we looked at this, you can see here the QA content, uh, almost every single one of these I looked at, Colt was answering it. So he's very responsive as always. And uh, I believe the course is pretty new because even these questions are like five or six days old. So it's it's new course. Uh, here is some of the content. So he talks about the curriculum walkthrough, what orders should you go watch him. So the way the course is outlined is that you have, let's see here, 20, 29 sections and each section you can actually just randomly jump between each section. You don't have to go it in order at all. Uh, however, there are some things that you probably should know first. And the what you should watch first is all of section one and big O notation because big O notation is usually, it is a requirement for every other section. So if you don't understand what big O notation is and how to um, how to take a look at your code and find, find how fast it runs, you're going to have difficulties later in this course. So that would be like the only requirement. Now, the way it works is when you go into any of these sections, if you look inside, let's say, a uh, problem like recursion, he always has a prerequisite at the beginning. So if you click on the prerequisite, it tells you you need big O notation. So like I said, you need big O notation for every part of this course. But when you get farther in, you're gonna get a lot more requirements. So if you're looking at Radex sort, now the prerequisite is big O notation, but you probably should know something about public sort, selection sort, insertion sort, merge sort. So that's probably a good idea. And something harder, like if you go all the way down to Dijkstra's algorithm, he really wants you to know big O, you should really know big O notation, recursion, binary heaps, graphs, graph traversal. So you can see here, this is, you can jump in between at any order you want, but you are going to have difficulties at some points because if you don't know the fundamentals of like, if you go into Dijkstra's, but you don't know graphs, you're probably going to have problems with some of these prob uh, some of these course uh, videos, that is. Uh, like many of his courses, it starts off a little bit easier. He looks at the performance of arrays and objects, different problem solving approaches, um, and he gives examples of how to do it, problem solving patterns, and then he goes into optional challenges. So right away, you can start kind of jumping in. Usually, um, if you've bought co um, any kind of interview algorithm book, like uh, coding, the coding interview book out there, they usually have chapters of these kind of fundamentals of computer science algorithms, like for example, linked lists or recursion or bubble sort or graphs, and then at the end of each chapter, they have these questions. And these questions are the ones you're probably gonna see on interviews. 
And then in the end of the book, or the second half of the book, they have the answers for all the questions and they go into pretty big detail. So that's sort of how Colt has done it in this course. So I've noticed some sections I couldn't find at the end of them any practice problems. So I'm so I may have missed it, but I don't see them all the time. Well, obviously like recursion here, he has a whole section on coding exercises and then he has even bonus ones. Some other ones were harder to find, like here's merge sort and I don't really see any problems at the end. So that's not great. <laughs> uh, one thing he does have though, I will say there's this last section here, and this is also another point that this course is probably not completely done, is that he has this problem, uh, this Wild West, which is a ton of coding exercises, which is 56 of them, and you can actually code them right inside the editor here and then test it out to see if it works. And he says uh, immediately right at the beginning that this section isn't completed yet and that he's still working on it. And I saw a couple other places in here that he also said that this isn't completed yet. So I could say, I could tell you even though it's 21 hours, he's still working on it, still adding more courses, more, more code on it. So that's really good. Uh, so I wish every single section had some problems at the end. Uh, maybe I'm missing some of them, but it doesn't look like all of them do. You know, I, I do have a computer science degree and I can tell you this is a lot of stuff that I learned in my data structures. It's been a while uh, in my algorithms classes. So, you know, bubble sort, selection sort. Usually we didn't learn all the sorts, but it's good to know them. You really don't need to learn all of them. Uh, usually you just go with the ones with the fastest big O notation. If I remember correctly, it's not bubble sort. <laughs> uh, merge sort? Quick sort? Uh, but it's good to know all of them. You may run into them in an interview. Uh, link lists are, are usually prime interview type questions when I've been on interviews, so I'm glad he's, he goes over them here. Uh, stacks and queues, hash tables are pretty uh, pretty important to know just to be a, a developer. Graphs are pretty good. Hopefully it was black, white graphs, the different types of, or trees I should say. Graphs is interesting. I think he has some trees too, binary search trees. So that's really, uh, really good to have. Tree traversals, that's pretty good to have. Yep, depth first, breadth first, that's very important. There's a lot of questions on those, those on interviews that I've seen. Yeah, so I mean, just looking through here, tons of information. Once again, I. Uh, if you guys are interested in this type of course, I have the links below. And cool thing is that Udemy is having one of its mini sales this week. Uh, I believe it's a back to school sale. So, you know, pick it up for nine, ten dollars, eleven, twelve dollars. It's pretty cheap. Make sure you use the the coupon below or the the link below so I can get a few bucks if you do buy it. But I, from what I can say, I would recommend this course. I mean, it has tons of information. 29 sections, tons of practice problems. Like I said, I wish I had a little bit more practice problems, but you could see that Cold is still updating it. I mean, this is taught by Cold. He didn't have someone else teach this course for him. Uh, so yeah, I'm I'm impressed. It, just for an algorithm type course, it's great. Now, is there anything missing? Like any sections missing? I think he's covered a lot. I don't I think that's this covers most of what you would see in any type of algorithm type course. Um, of course, you could always use this and supplement this with like leak code or code fights or any of those other websites out there that offer you free coding program uh, algorithm type questions. But those ones usually rely on you would pretty much have to figure out the answers yourselves or look or look at the solutions having a nice video course to figure out like, oh, this was so, this was, this was was uh, found by a binary search tree and then seeing the videos and how an actual binary search tree works is really helpful. And I know free content for algorithms type videos isn't very good out there. So this is great. I would highly recommend it. Uh, one other course I would have to give a shout out to as well on Udemy is Dylan Israel's course. He has a similar course where he goes over, if I can find it here, his 100 algorithm challenge. I'll put a link below for this one too. So if you take Colt's course and you need 
a hundred more awesome, amazing problems, I would check out Dylan's course too, because he has a ton of information on uh, algorithms too. So I think both of these courses, I think they would complement each other pretty well actually. So anyways, that's my quick mini review of the JavaScript algorithm course that Cold Steel put together. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Do you, did you guys take the course? Have you started studying for your programming tests out there for your algorithm tests? You think something like this would be helpful? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like these type of videos, please click that subscribe button, smash that like button. I don't think I've ever said that before, but now I've said it today. So I've hit a new low. Uh, anyways, thanks guys. Take care.